Hey guys, so um, today has been eventful and long and overall pretty good. Um, okay, so this morning we had a host meeting, except it was only for those going to competition on the 24th of February. Um, and then I have people behind me. I have Grace and Emma. If Emma will. We go to regionals tomorrow. We do. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, anyway, so we had a host meeting. Like, so it was only for those going to competition in, like, the end of February. Um, then during first period, we went over, like, mnemonics and notes and so on and so forth that we should just have in our notebook, just in general. Um, in second period, we went over answers on the study guide, we went over the test, and no, we didn't take the test today, although we were supposed to originally, um, however, now we're taking it Monday. Oh, that was actually, um, Miss, Miss, Miss Gardner, I can't think of her name, um, Miss Gardner's decision, because we were all thinking we were going to have it today, so, yeah, um, hit like if you see Grace's hand. <laughs> um, or her head. Share it if you hear, if you see her head. <laughs> Not that many people will watch this, but whatever. Um, anyway, then during third period, we did CRA corrections, and then we did the word problems again, and I literally just copied down all of my work from the word problems, um, from last week, because, you know, one, they're not hard, <laughs> Two, I literally had every question that I needed, because there were it was the same questions and stuff, and it was just it was great, because I didn't need to do anything except for just copy down my answers again. Um, fourth period we spent breaking bridges. So you know how I've been talking about like um, his scientific research has been doing, um, um the popsicle. Stick bridges. Well, we finally broke them today. We had one that held over 200 pounds. Yeah. It weighed the most, but it was so strong. It held a girl, like a 120 pound girl, plus a 50 pound bucket of wet sand, plus three encyclopedias. And even then, it only broke because she was getting really wobbly. Like, it broke exactly in, like, three pieces. It was great. Um, anyway. Then, <laughs> um, then, in, what was it, fifth period? Yeah, we had another sub. Um, and today the periods were really shortened because we had a pep rally after school. However, I did get to miss that. Anyway, um. In fifth period, we had a sub because Miss Crabtree had to be somewhere, you know. I think it was something to do with her son, which, you know, that's that's something she needs to take care of. Um, anyway, so we were just working on a worksheet and doing the ACT problem. And then we had the pep rally, which I didn't go to. Mr. Camp let me go in his room. And I worked on some homework in there, and then after school, those two heathens, who aren't really heathens, but... I thought all your friends were heathens. I, they are, but... Ha, obviously, song quote. Um, anyway, like I call the entire chess team heathens, like we are the heathens. Um, anyway... God, that looks horrible. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, my brain isn't working. Um. My brain really isn't working. Shoot. Then afterwards, um, I met up with them and we went over to Farragut and we went to Walmart because we were going to get Emma's ears pierced. 
but we were completely unaware of the fact that you need to have an 18 or you have to be 18 or older or have a parent or guardian with you which I had no idea none of us had any idea um, I've had my ears pierced twice both in the same spot on the lobe the first time because you know I was seven I wanted my ears pierced like any little girl um, and then I actually got an earring, like the entire earring, stuck in this earlobe. So, um, we got, we were finally able to get the earring out, but we just said, no, no more earrings. And then when I was like 10, I got them re-pierced. Because they had closed up. Um, anyway, we were going shoe shopping for prom, which we all found something. Well, Grace and I found something. Because Emma already got hers Wednesday, I think, something like that. Um, but yeah, Grace actually got a couple pairs because we went to Rack Room Shoes, Off-Broadway Shoes, Shoe Show, Payless, Designer Shoe Warehouse, and Marshalls. All of those stores. I found mine, it was actually the first store we went to, it was like my fourth pair of shoes that I tried on. Um from Dress Shoe Warehouse, oh my god, they are fantastic. I will show them to you in another video, but they're kind of like a mix between flats and heels. Um, like Emma said um, to mom earlier, they're kind of like, um, oh, I can't think of the wedges. name. Thank you, wedges. Um, but they're not. It's weird. They're cool. Like, I love them. And then, like, they're kind of, quote-unquote, strappy, but they're nice because... It's just, it, it's just a perfect fit. Um, and then Grace got a pair of really cute, like, full-on closed-toed shoes that are brown, and they kind of have, what is it, like a floral pattern or something, like, um, poked into it. And then she got her pair of high heels for prom. Um, then we came home. We made mac and cheese. Uh, we all three sat on the couch. I did homework and we watched To Kill a Mockingbird. So, yeah. And now they're spending the night because tomorrow morning we have to be up at 6 a.m. Be out of the out the door by 7 to 7.15 in the morning. And be at um, a high school. I'm not specific. I'm not going to specify. Um be at the tournament at the high school not our high school just a high school um by like eight it doesn't start until nine nine thirty but we need to check in and pay and so on and so forth but um yeah anyway so that's what that is and i guess i will just talk to you guys later see ya